I'm Haley Drake and welcome to the first 2018 edition of the North News. To start, we went to the North School Store at their grand reopening. Check out what we caught on location. Welcome to the new school store. We have a great new location that was made just for us. We are opening every day, block three and four. Come out and support your store. The other day, Dr. George came by the library to have an open discussion with our students. Let's take a look at what they said. Every so often, the superintendent of our schools, Dr. George, comes to the library Middletown North during blocks three and four to have an open discussion with the students who may have any questions, concerns, or ideas. Here is an example of one of those times. So, but we are putting money into that every year to make sure that we're up there. Remember, just a few years ago, you know, um, um, we had a conversation here, started here, about how we need to update equipment. And over the past few years, every year since then, we have specifically budgeted monies for improvement in, in those facilities. But climate control is an issue. The climate, the, yeah, it's, um, it's uh, and that's an aging facility. And because it's an aging facility to your point, it's going to move up on that scale of what, what needs to get done. You know. Let me tell you about our board. Our board's great in the sense that they really do, the vast majority of the time, they go with the recommendations of um, our teachers, you know, the coaches, the, the conversations that happen from our principals, on building level, the central office, my leadership as superintendent. I really want to make collaborative decisions. I, as I said earlier, I want to make sure that we have student voice, student choice. Dr. Cardi and I get excited when an idea comes up in here and we can actually put that into um, its action, you know? Um, uh, the really the, the, that would start with coaches and Mr. Carroll having a conversation, Mr. Carroll having a conversation with Dr. Cartier. Like again, this is a possible conversation for us to have at secondary school principals meetings and we bring, we bring Mr. Carroll in on that and we have that conversation. Anything we can do to leverage um, uh, you know, our resources financially, because to your point, if we were to use one vendor for all of those things, uh, first of all, it would have to be a bid process because it would be a significant amount of money. So what that means, just so you know, is you can't just choose whatever vendor you want. There has to be a competitive bid process. Everybody would bid in. The, the spec, specs would have to be more uh, general, but they could, you know, they could um, hold the expectation we have for a top line product like Nike. We just can't say. Be about that student directed learning, about personalized learning, so that we can work comprehensive public education, work comprehensive effort. It's not just about, uh, we want to make sure that uh, we are hitting every spectrum of learning. Special education, regular education, students that want to pursue very specific interests, and how we can plan and prepare and organize that into the curriculum that we have to cover based on federal mandates, state mandates. We stopped by one of the bowling matches. Let's take a peek at how they did. Hi, my name is Joe Trezza, and I am the boys bowling coach here at Middletown High School North. Uh, I've just completed my second season here at Middletown North. Last year, we had a record of 44 and 10, and we won the B North Division. And in the 2017 and 2018 season, we just completed a 53 wins to only one defeat. Again, the B North champions. Uh, our team, which was completely, which completely returned from last year, was led by senior Joe Yatsko. Joe had a 201 average for the season, and he has com competed in the state tournament as well as today he will compete in the Shore Conference tournament. So we were hoping to see him go pretty far in those tournaments. Um, the team was also led by senior Tyler Davis, Chris Kane, and Kyle Henry, as well as junior Mike Vales, Brendan McCarthy, and Dane Calhoun, and sophomores Tony Trigg and 
Patrick Fuchs. The team won the B North and is excited to continue on through states. We went to the theater to film North alumni who came to visit the North seniors to talk about life at college. I mean, also, I mean, for Nova freshmen, you don't choose your classes. You just get thrown into a computer with your major gen eds and it spits you out of schedule. I happen to get one of the worst schedules, which is great. But anyway, that's besides the point. Report by the tenant. If you don't show up to class, you just don't know what's happening. You miss everything and you will probably fail the midterm at the final, or the final. So, um, some of the smaller colleges, I'm uh, Coach Boyd. I'm the assistant coach for uh, Middletown North uh, High School Wrestling. Um, we have a very crazy week this week. Uh, tonight we uh, got the semis against Scotch Plains of Fanwood. Uh, very tough team, well balanced. Um, you know, we're looking to uh, looking to beat them tonight, and then uh, hopefully get a shot at Phillipsburg, uh, which is home uh, Friday. Um, again, it all depends what happens tonight. Um, but uh, we've uh, lost to Phillipsburg two years in a row in the state final. So hopefully uh, we're looking to turn the tables this year and get it done. Uh, so far, uh, we've had a pretty good season this year. Um, the kids have been working really hard. Um, it's been a great opportunity um, to be a part of this team. And um, I'm looking forward to uh, in the future. We had um, the first annual short conference individual tournament, um, which Nico Cafone uh, took first place at 182. Uh, Stanley Wojlak took second at uh, 152, and uh, Thomas O'Keefe took fourth place, and Tyler Klinsky took third. So uh, it's actually been a really incredible year, and uh, hopefully we'll get it done with the state championship.
watching this edition of the North News. We'll be back more with many more broadcasts. TV film production class. My name is Brighton Charbonneau, and I'm sorry that I'm in the car right now, so the video might be shaky. But I heard you guys were making some films for a festival, and I wanted to say congratulations because that's super awesome, and I hope it goes really well. I hope you guys have a fun time making the films, also, and I would love to see it. I actually like maybe you guys could email me or something, but um, have a great day. What's up? Big shout out to the Middletown North TV production class. We love Middletown North. Yeah, we do. My wife went there. She's awesome.